So once you've logged into the RBT Group Cloud Portal, you'll be able to see all your projects in one place. Now by using the navigation panel on the left hand side, you will see you've got projects, monitors and users. So the first window or tab now open are projects. You can use the search panel to search for a project. And you can see active projects and archive projects. The archive projects hold all the historic data. You can restore, delete and edit any of these projects by using the buttons on the right hand side. There are shortcut icons underneath data. These are the chart view, calendar view, grid view, audio recordings and waveforms for vibration monitoring. OK, so now we're within the project, we can see we have three monitors here. We have a noise, dust and vibration monitor with the serial number next to them. There is a location and you can see the map on the right also shows where the monitors are. You can see when they were added, the limits that are set for these monitors and whether these monitors are on or offline. Now let's see some data. Using the navigation panel on the left hand side of the screen, you can go to the chart view. In the chart view, you can select the monitor type, so noise, dust or vibration. We can set a start date to the maximum period of two weeks. Once we hit plot chart, this will plot two weeks of data. There are different buttons underneath, so we have real time data, hourly averages and frequency where the monitors are enabled with this option. You will see a level versus time and above this will show the functions. So we can see here for noise, we have LMAX, L10, LAQ and L90. Generally for construction or demolition works, we are interested in the maximum noise levels, so the LAF max, and the averages, the LAEQ. We can save this image by clicking on the burger menu on the right hand side. You can save this as a PNG, a JPEG or a PDF. This then downloads into the bottom of your web browser and you can simply report to your client. So I'll show you what the dust looks like. So here in the dust monitor we can see our real time data, our 15 minute averages, hourly averages and daily averages. For our vibration monitor we can also view the real time data. Here we can see the PPV, peak particle velocity, in the three directions, trans, vertical and longitudinally. The next view after charts is calendar. We just tap that link. Here you can see the average noise levels in the calendar view. By using the drop down, you can switch to your dust monitor and again to your vibration monitor. Here we see the maximum levels for our vibration. If any levels are exceeded, a red line is plotted underneath the value. So if you select on a date, here we have the 6th of February, we can see the highest levels recorded for that day. We can use the links below to go to the chart or the grid view, and we can also see weather data. You can also add notes for this day, so perhaps we are moving some equipment, maybe someone knocked the sensor, we can add these notes to this date here. For quick reporting, just click the download monthly report and an Excel sheet or CSV file is exported from the web browser and you can open this to view your levels. After the calendar view, we have the grid view, which is just a table view. Here we can see things like our hourly averages for our noise. You can also download this raw data. We also have our audio recordings. This website is mobile friendly, so we can shrink this down into a smaller size and play back these audio recordings on your smartphone. We can download these recordings and delete them. If we need to change the trigger levels for the audio recordings, then just tap this link above and then you'll be taken to a new page that allows you to change the threshold and the length of the recording including receiving an alert. So back to the projects, we also have waveforms underneath recordings in the left hand panel. There are no waveforms at the moment for this vibration monitor, 
But in here, we'd be able to see the PPV for the three directions and also the frequency. You can use the link on the left to go back to the project. In here, you can change your limits for your noise monitor by clicking free and the limits there. Here is just a simple tick box exercise and there is a help tutorial on the right hand side if you're unsure. This is the RBT Environmental Cloud. If you have any questions, then please let us know.